Robert for interviewher.com and today I'm going to teach you how to do a summer glowy um, look. Um, my friend is actually going to a special reception tonight and it's outside under the tents and she wants me to come over and do her makeup and her hair so she wanted me to do a natural look but something glowy for the beach because it is a beach themed kind of event. So. Um, what I have going on is just like a bronzy kind of eye, but a little bit sh with a little shimmer to it to kind of give it a glowy effect and w um, make your eyes look a little bit bigger. So um, if you are looking for something like this, then keep watching and I will show you how to do it step by step. Okay, so I already started with um, L'Oreal's Magic Studio Magic Perfecting Base. I put that on just basically right here in this area. And now I'm going to mix these two Colorstay Revlon foundations. Um, the first one that I have is Golden Caramel, which is more of like, uh, has some like pink, I don't know, it looks kind of pinky once I put it on my hand. And then I'm also mixing it with rich tan, yeah. And that's like more yellow undertones. So I'm just going to put it where I most need it, which is mainly on my cheeks. I'm just going to apply that here and then I'll blend it everywhere else. And then I'll check to see if I need any more. I'm gonna use this um, brush. And with this brush, I'm just pre pretty much tapping it in because I don't want it to like go away and smear all over my face and blend in completely. I do want some coverage, so um, I don't need a lot of coverage on my forehead, but I do need to blend it up into there, so I will buff that into my forehead, but mainly just keep it here, okay? So I'm just going to add a little bit more and then blend it down into your neck, okay? Now I'm going to add a little bit of concealer and I'm going to use this NW30 um, MAC Studio Touch Up Stick. So as you can see that pretty much covers up any discoloration on my face. I've had this one for a while and I just keep forgetting that I have it in there. so. pulling it out and really like it. Now with that, to put that in, I'm going to use a foundation brush. This one is the MAC 190. And I'm just basically going to pat that in. Again, because I don't want it to lose the coverage, I'm just patting it in. Now, if you have any redness around the nose, then I would also use that there. Or if you have any darkness, I could, you know, you could use that right there. You could use that here on the cupid's bow, and right here, any dark spots, or any redness here. That's mainly where you kind of get redness from all your wonderful girly hormones. So that's where you can cover that up. I kind of get red in that area, but I don't really get too red. I have more dark spots than redness. But if you're lighter, you will get more redness. Okay, and so that's all you're going to do. And then um, I'm going to set my face with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, and I'm going to use my big MAC powder brush, and it's a 134. And I'm just going to focus right here on the cheeks and basically on my T-zone. Just like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is for concealer, I'm going to use this Boing, it's by Benefit, and this one is in number two, and I'm just going to place that with my ring finger all along those little dark areas. If you have really bad dark under eye circles, you want to kind of form a triangle right here in this area down and up back to that to the end of your eye okay and then I will use um, that same brush and just kind of pat it out okay 
that's it. Now, to set that concealer, I'm going to use Benefit's Powder Filage, and it comes in a little thing like this, and there's only one color, and it's kind of like pink. It's brightening, so um, I like to use that. Now, I, it came with this little brush like this, so I'm just going to use it. You can also use like a big fat crease brush, but I'm, I've been lazy the last couple days and haven't washed my brushes. So, they're all dirty. So you're just going to sweep that right there where you applied your concealer. And it brightens up the area and it sets the concealer so that it won't crease into your fine lines. So that's that for the face. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eye and I'm going to use NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone. I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes with this NYX Sin Jumbo Eye Pencil. So I'm just going to give myself a nice little coating of that all over the lid, just like that. This is going to give us a nice glowy effect. And it also really helps the shadow to pop even more. Really like it. I like all these jumbo pencils. Kind of obsessed. Okay, and then I'm going to use this Milk, same jumbo pencil, and I'm going to apply this right here into the tear duct area. And this is going to help open our eye a little more. So you don't want to go down too far into this area here like I did on this one a little bit, so you're just gonna kinda, you know, bring it out a little bit more. Now, if this is too fat for you, you can always use um, a white pencil like this. I'm going to use a shader brush like this, and I'm going to use this color called Twinks. It looks like that. So I'm just going to basically apply that right here on the outer corner of, your, of the eye, and kind of make a little bit of a wing. So you're just going to apply that here in the lower lash line in the outer corner, pat it on, and then turn your brush to the side and you can work it into the crease. Just like that. It's a shimmer eyeshadow, so it's really nice for a nice, nice summer um, nighttime look. Okay, so same thing on the other eye. Okay, so basically I just made sure that I had like a nice wing. I brought the color out a little bit um, from my brush. Same on both sides, just creating a nice soft outer cat eye. And then I'm going to give myself a little bit definition and I'm going to use a little crease brush like this and I'm going to use Bark. Mm -hmm. So it's just a dark matte brown. It's almost kind of purpley. You can also use, if you don't want um, something as dark, you can also use corduroy. Mine is broken. Um, or you can use mystery, but that's more of a gray brown. So I think I'm going to use um, corduroy. So all I'm doing is I'm just focusing right here on the inner corner V. I don't want to go up too far because I've got the twinks there, and that's kind of like your nice shimmer. So just keep that here in your inner corner, just to give yourself a little bit more definition. And then we'll blend all that out. And blend it in. And then I like to use this brush to blend, which is that MAC 217. 
So this one has some harsh lines right here. So you can just take that and blend it. Like that. So then I'm going to take um, another brownie color, but it has a lot of shimmer. It's a really good color for summer. It's called Woodwinked, and it's very shimmery. And I'm just going to take a flat shader brush, and I'm going to dip it in, and then I'm going to press that into the middle of the eye right here. And that will give your eye a really nice glowy effect. so pretty. Just like that. Same thing over here. Just blend it out a little bit. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is since I applied milk, I'm going to take a little fluffy kind of brush here and I'm going to dip it into rice paper. So there's rice paper. It's like a goldy, it's not gold. It's yellow. It's a nice um, highlight and we can just blend that into the milk right here in the tear duct to soften up that white because we don't want it to be too chalky. We just want a nice glowy effect. And I'm also going to kind of blend that up into the crease right here as well. Or, not the crease. The inner corner of the eye lid. And then I'm going to take it right here and just place it right here. Now because there's a lot of shimmer going on the eyelid, I don't want too much, so just be careful right here on your lid. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that flat shader brush again and I'm going to um, take a little bit of corduroy and just drag it down here on the outer corner of the lash line just to give myself a little bit of definition down there. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you want to line your waterline and I am going to line my waterline with um, Stila's Casual Eye Pencil in Tiger's Eye. Okay, so you're just going to, you can just pull your lower lid down just a tad. Because you don't want to be pulling on that area too much. Okay, so I wanted to line my upper lash line with this fluid line and this one is um, dip down. That's like bent like that. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to give myself a nice thin line. Nothing crazy. It will just define the eye a little bit more. I'm not even going to really wing it out. That's that. Now. I'm going to apply mascara this time and I will be right back because it takes too long for me to video that. <laughs> okay, so I'm back and I already did my mascara, but I did want to remind you to always take your fluffy brush because I kind of forgot and go along the outer lash or the outer corners and where you applied your crease color and always go and blend that out. I'm going to use Refined Golden. Now this does have like a little bit of shimmer but it's really not that much. So you can see the shimmer right there. But once you apply it, you don't really see a lot of shimmer. So I'm just going to focus right here along the, um, I'm not gonna contour but I'm just going to put it right here where you would contour I guess. Um, just above it maybe and then take it up of course into your color um, a couple options you can always use that physician's formula that I love so much because it's so summery and a little pinky a little bronzy it's perfect um, I'm actually going to use um, NARS orgasm I'm actually going to take a stippling brush because I don't want it to be too too crazy like I said, I have to clean my brushes, but um, I'm just going to tap it in and then just apply it to the apples of my cheeks. And remember, you always want to stay away from your nose because like we concealed here for redness, so you don't want to put any more redness in that area. So you want to find your apple right here. It's on the side, 
not in the middle, it's on the side. So you just want to kind of blend that in and then kind of go crazy. So.